اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشینٹ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفل دس اس انجینیا فیصل اجاز اینڈ ٹوٹی آئی ایم پریزنٹنگ ای لیکچر آن دا ٹاپک کریجینک پروسس آلسو آئی وانٹ ٹو انٹوڈیوز مائی یوٹیوب چینل ویڈ این ٹائٹل کیمیکل انجینرنگ ایج ٹیک اینڈ ڈیفرنٹ کیمیکل انجینرنگ ٹاپکس ویچ آر پریزنٹڈ بائی می یو کین سی ایٹ بیک گراؤنڈ پیجز سو ایف یو پیپل ویل سبسکرائب مائی چینل دین یو ویل گیٹ مائی لیٹسٹ ویڈیوز Today our topic is cryogenic but before journey to cryogenic we will spend some moments on the history of cooling. So in history I am just presenting some pictures and you people know pictures itself convey a large amount of information so watch and enjoy. You can see the first diagram is of ice harvesting and the second one is uh, ice storage cave which is situated in Germany and the next one is refrigerated railroad car. Now visit some commercial refrigeration applications and uh, in the first diagram you can see a cargo which is equipped with refrigerated equipments and in the second diagram uh, ice machine is visible uh, which was construct in 1892 and uh, the next diagram is of uh, an apparatus which is called salitate apparatus and uh, the ne next one is also an apparatus which is called pictet apparatus and uh, here are two liquefiers are available which convert a gas into liquid. According to definition of cryogenic, the science and technology which produce low temperature environment and that environment have low temperature between negative 150 centigrade till negative 273 centigrade and in these temperature negative 150 centigrade temperature is a minimum temperature or upper limit of temperature to start cryogenic process and the maximum maximum temperature which we can attain in cryogenic process is negative to 73 centigrade also lower limit of temperature according to etymology of cryogenic greek language word cryos which mean frost and cold and that frost you can observe in picture of leaf have a white layer of snow which is referred to as a frost. The driving force of cryogenic process is cryogenic fluid. So that fluid decrease a temperature to obtain cryogenic temperature and example of such type of fluid is liquid nitrogen. Now we know well the temperature ranges of cryogenic process which are in between negative 150 centigrade to negative 273 centigrade and that upper limit of temperature which is negative 273 centigrade may be achieved but at that temperature the action of all the molecules stop. Gases such as helium, hydrogen, neon, nitrogen, oxygen and normal air these all gases exist below negative 120 centigrade while the uh, freon refrigerants, hydrocarbons and other common refrigerants which are used in different equipments for the purpose of refrigeration have boiling point above negative 120 centigrade and remember all cryogenic liquids are gases at normal temperature and pressure. Liquid oxygen and hydrogen used to be popular but are rarely used nowadays due to potential hazards. So liquid nitrogen and the common isotopes of helium most widely used for purpose of cryogenic. 
and three methods are available for the liquefaction of gases and the first one is compression and in this method only pressure is a driving force to convert a gas into a liquid and according to example ammonia which has a critical temperature of 133 centigrade this temperature is well above uh, room temperature as you know our room temperature is our environment temperature so to convert ammonia gas into a liquid state simply we will apply some pressure and uh, that gas will be converted into liquid state in the second method a gas work against an external force and uh, we try to understand this method through an example and according to example in the first step we will boil a water and we will convert it into steam and uh, we will send that steam into a cylinder and a cylinder is fitted with pistons so that steam will move the pistons and uh, after a driving of of a piston the steam itself will lose energy and uh, after losing that energy that steam will uh, go into liquid state so this is a method to liquefy a gas into a steam the third process to liquefy a gas into liquid is joule thomson effect and in this method we have a container which is fitted with a wall and firstly we enter a high pressure gas into uh, that container and after that we release uh, this gas uh, through opening wall and uh, due to decrease in pressure uh, our gas will be converted into liquid good face equipments are used for cooling and you people know well that cooling is not a simple cooling that is a cryogenic process so to obtain uh, the cryogenic environment we use cryogenic freezers and uh, some uh, freezers are enlisted here in which uh, the first one is cabinet freezer and the next is a tunnel freezer spraying freezers and emerian freezers so we go to the gallery of these equipments the first one is cabinet freezer and uh, the next one is tunnel freezer and uh, the next one is immersion freezers and the last is uh, spray uh, which is used for small scale applications in these diagrams uh, you can see the practical application of cryogenic process and uh, these uh, processes are used for the preservation of food items also here uh, some uh, transportation and uh, production equipments are available through which a uh, gases are liquefied and you know well that uh, that liquefied gases are a driving force of cryogenic process hope you people will understand that topic